Man, I like the little corner up there. Yeah, that's our little showcase corner. That's we cool. uh, show some new items on it every couple of weeks, and then, or that's the plan anyway. This is only the second week with it, but uh, it's worked well. Every the the helmets we put up there, we sold a couple off of them being up there. Uh, we're down to our last uh, Traxxas and just a couple of bump boxes left, so that's cool. It grabs people's attention quick. So I like it because when you come up here, the first thing, it, it works. Like, you did a good job with it. I have to give you that. It works because, like, the light catches your eye, and then whatever's under it's like it's yeah. spotlighted. So Yeah, it definitely draws people's attention. So Well, you did good on that. Them things must be selling like crazy. I they see are. pictures of them all over the place. I saw a picture on uh, Facebook the other day. A guy had, like, six or seven of them. And it had all kind of wrenches, and I was like, you know what? This guy right here, he's got his wrenches right where he needs them. I mean, they were, I think it was on, a, it was either cart lid or something like that, but I mean, it was right at his disposal. He could go right to it. Yeah. So, I think that's awesome. That's pretty cool. You got that set up there like a, a bouquet of flowers. Like that's right. Getting ready for Easter with all them colors up there. That's right. We, we finally got our long pry bars back in. They always really sell good, so. We ordered a bunch of them, yeah. uh, enough that we got some at the house waiting to go on the truck. But they gonna got, do them in blue? I know they're doing the other pry bars in blue. I'm sure that those will be followed up pretty pretty shortly on that. When they when they was talking about the blue pry bars, they didn't say a limited run or anything like that. So I'm sure that yeah, just like the the ratchets, they'll go full scale with the blue on those. So good deal. Well, I guess before we get started in tools, I guess y'all will move into the uh, Friday spot yeah so um um for those that didn't know hamilton has decided that he's no longer gonna be a a tool truck so um he come and i think it was tuesday here and picked up all the toolboxes that he had that was delivered here and his truck was cleaned out so he's officially done um he's gonna do his uh, housing stuff on the side. He likes doing that. And I think yeah. it's something kind of too that he does with his kid. So um, that's the direction he wants to go. So well, we definitely him wish him the best that. for sure. Uh, I know he he expressed that he had that was what he liked to do. So yeah. everybody needs to do the job they want to do, right? Nobody yeah. wants to go to work every day wishing they did something else. So that's uh, true. We definitely wish him the best there. So. I guarantee there's a lot of people watching this video that wishes they could change careers too because I know I've been there and done that and I'm finally doing something I enjoy so it makes a big difference when you like doing what you do. Well and if that's you if you're right now wishing you change careers there's better no better time than now because everywhere I guarantee you the career you're wanting to do they got probably ten openings. They right probably now. got ten <laughs> openings, and <laughs> and they and more than likely they, the the thing that's been holding you back is no longer there. Yeah. Whether it be the experience that they required, um, the amount of college that it took. I've seen places that used to take four years of college, and they're like, "Don't even worry about that. We'll train you. Just come on." Exactly. Um, and that's amazing. That, and you know, the pay. Yeah. Right now is better than it's <laughs> ever been to get somebody in to start. You know. I, uh, I was thinking about that the other day. Um, when I was a tech, I made this certain amount, and they're starting them out a dollar less than that now. And it's like, wait a minute, hold on. And and the position that I was with my qualifications, they're making double what I was making. It's like, holy, if that could have been a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. I, there probably wouldn't have been me being a macro dealer because I'd have been soaking that up, right? But, well, I know we went through the drive through the other day at Burger King, and it took forever. Yeah. We get up there and they got a sign up there hiring all positions, sixteen dollars an hour. I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, I, and you're seeing that everywhere. And I don't know if it's people not. There, there's one or two problems there. It's either um, there's nobody wanting to work. That's why they got so many positions. Or I'd like to think that so many people that worked there before have decided to go to uh, their dream job and and are making better. So they're having hard times at these in, entry level positions. Um, a lot of people may disagree with me there and I know in the fast food industry you can move up to be a manager and that can be a lifetime good yep. making job right. uh, but if you're stuck behind the cash register at McDonald's Burger King or something else to me that's an entry level position either you're growing or you're staying and if you're staying yep. there and you're wanting to go somewhere else 
Now's probably the time. Well, you know, the guy that owns this McDonald's, um, for those that may not know, my sister-in-law, she's an attorney now. Yeah. But she started out in high school. She worked at McDonald's. Yeah. And she worked at McDonald's all through college. And then even after she graduated, she still worked at McDonald's until she started her internship. But she worked for the same guy. And uh, he owns several McDonald's yeah. now. But he started out cooking french fries and and you know like he he worked his way up and he become a store manager and then he was over a couple of stores and then he ended up buying one then he bought two and three and four and now that oh guy is loaded like so loaded <laughs> i don't know if we're talking about the same guy or not but i actually had to um but i worked on one of their guys it's an owner um he had an avalon at the time i had to balance his tires and um he was telling me that's kind of the story. That's what makes me think we're talking about the same one. It, it and that's probably what is because he owns almost every McDonald's around here. Well, he owned the ones in Tupelo, yeah. and he was like, "Look, you know," because he was asking me, you know, what I plan on doing. I was like, "Well, I plan on eventually being a tech, and then I'm gonna try to move on up to owning my own shop one day and stuff like that." And he he told me how he started out working at McDonald's, and now he owns multiple. Uh, stores and that's what I'm talking about if that's your goal you know if that's your goal is to work there in every position get the experience and then buy one go for it that's perfect well I tell you another like a and, I, and I've told uh, Mr. Lopez Luis Lopez the guy that owns VIM tools um, you've probably met him at some of the Matco shows and stuff but he's got the best story of anybody as far as living the American dream um, he started out at the very, very bottom in the tool business, like sweeping floors and packing boxes and stuff like that, and moved his way up to uh, where he was the president of Astro. There you go. And then he turned around and bought VIM, and you know, look where it's at right now. It I only mean, takes one good idea, right? And he started out from the ground up, but you know, he was determined and he worked hard, and he's probably the most successful human being that I know. Yeah. Well, that's like Chick-fil-A. All the people at Chick-fil-A, they get the, if you work at Chick-fil-A and you want to be, um, you want to start your own store, it's it's the easiest to do there. Like they say that it, they make it super easy to do, which, you know, they have their scholarships and stuff they do. I know McDonald's does the same and all that, but um, they don't have to be a dead end job. Like it can start out as an entry level position and you can either grow within or you can go to your, like, like, um, become an attorney or whatever you want to do i mean you can use it to your advantage but yep. i think that's great but i don't know all i know is when i seen 16 dollars an hour i was thinking i i could build a whopper <laughs> you know I, I can do that i bet i can memorize it and do it the right way let me see I'm, i could i think i could i think i could build a whopper uh, i'm sure we all could for that i'm looking i know i look like i'm lost but i'm trying to get another set of drill bits out I'm gonna show the difference between, I know we've talked about the hyper steps many a times, but we've actually got a new set out. So I wanna talk about them. I shared a picture of them, or we shared a picture at Expo, and then I think we shared a picture yesterday. So if you're on our social media, then you know where I'm going. But we've got new stubby cobalt drill bits. You know, we had the mechanics length, right. which is just a sh little bit shorter. And then we started having some of our techs talk about how they wish that they were a little bit shorter. So here is the regular standard size drill bit, half inch for the hyper step. Okay. Then there's the new stubby version that once it's chucked in your drill, so we'll put them at the same spot where the chuck st stops. Wow. That's the difference. So you still got your half inch drill bit, super short, still got the great hyper step, plus it's cobalt. So are, these are high speed steel, correct? Yes. And then these are the cobalts. Yep. Okay. So if you needed any other reason to buy another set of hyper step drill bits, <laughs> We got you here, right? Yeah. Uh, Next, they'll come out with a super long version, and uh, well, I can have a, have a little bit of everything. I've got a guy that has one of each of the set. He actually has two sets of these. Uh, he has a set of the Cobalt uh, Mechanics Link, and now 
he's going to be looking at buying some of these. So I've had guys ask me before, what's the difference? Like, why should I buy the Cobalt versus the high speed steel? So I'm going to let you answer that question from the, the salesman performance. And here's what I told them. I said, first of all, high speed steel's great drill bits. You know, that was the original hopper steps. I love those drill bits, but they're definitely designed to use in a higher speed electric drill. Um, the cobalts have a coating on them, obviously, and uh, they last longer. And it's, they seem to cut better at slow speeds. So I, I think you nailed it right there. That's the main thing. The the cobalt's always been told uh, to be able to drill through a harder mm -hmm. metal. Um, it's going to be it's going to be difficult to just look at them and, and tell. Well, you know, if you're using them side by side, it's really going to be hard. But a lot of your machine shops and stuff like that, they're going to go straight to the cobalt just because, like you said, it's yeah. going to it's going to it's going to last longer, but it's also going to um, be able to cut a lot better in that harder steel and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that just harder material. Take these and put them in a, a air drill that's cooking at twenty thousand RPM. <laughs> no, that's definitely not what you want to do. No, because she'll turn blue, and that's that's all. Yeah, she wrote. You, you definitely don't want to cook these, and I think that's a good. That's a good side note. You don't want to just pull that trigger as fast as it'll go because it will. It'll burn the tip of this. And you still want to use, um, uh, they actually make some drill bit oil that mm -hmm. saves the drill bits. You still want to do that. You still want to maintain these drill bits. Just because it has a warranty, you don't want to say, well, screw it. you know, Because yeah. now you're going to get right. three uses out of this drill bit and you're waiting on your macro guy to bring you another one mm -hmm. instead of being able to use it several times. I think they had and it. And you don't have to use the specialized stuff. You can use rear end oil, you can use motor oil, transmission something fluid, to WD-40, cool. anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something to keep it cool. And the main thing is uh, when you do that, when you, when you maintain that, you're actually getting the full life of the drill bit. So you're yep. getting what you paid for, right? Um, I think they say like 300 holes is what they average at um, or something like that on some of these drill bits. I used to have it hanging up. Uh, do you uh, do you have any of the large size that y'all got? Y'all got any? I actually in sold those out. It's actually 98 holes. I don't know where I got 300 from. So it's actually 98 holes is where they, they are saying that these are go where a regular drill bit's averaging 28. I know where I got the 300 holes. That's I got a trailer shop and they said that's about how many holes they get out of one. But no, they're drilling through wood, so that's a little right. different. Um, they've got it rated at uh, average of 98 holes. So you can get a lot more than that if you take care of the drill bit and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But the the larger ones, um, we have a guy that he works on heavy equipment, but he also does the machine side of it. He bought them, and I haven't heard nothing but good things out of it. So. I know I got a set of them and them jokers. Or not. Nice. I would hate They're to know really I had to drill nice. some of those big old holes though. I'm gonna be honest with you, they cut as good as the little bitty ones. <laughs> well, and that, <laughs> I mean, that's the only the thing. difference is it's bigger. Like, there's no difference in the cutting. Um, you know, between a half inch and I think the one that I was cutting was around a three quarter inch or whatever it was. Yeah. It, was it was not the biggest one, it was the next size down, and no problem. Well, and that's the, that's the thing. If you're having to use a drill bit, it's usually not a good thing, mm -hmm. but it can be, I guess. But if you're drilling out a uh, stud or something that's broke off these here, I know the guy we dropped off some of these two yesterday, he was going to do an exhaust manifold. So it, it was going to be a tight squeeze. This right here is just going to make it that much easier. Yeah. But I've also been doing, uh, had to do some, I had to do some cams and stuff. I had to replace some uh, head gaskets and everything. Well, one of the uh, actual head bolts when went to torque it down it, it it wouldn't torque it would just spin uh -oh. so now you got to pull it back apart and helicoil yeah, it well it was right. at the back uh the brake booster was in the way so you're having to use an angle drill already mm -hmm. uh, and i had this size here it Too still long. would not yeah. fit so i actually had to stick this down in the hole and use a wrench it mm -hmm. did really great it cut just fine um i was able to with applying just a little bit of pressure and turning the wrench very very slowly because i'm not no superhero or anything like that to be able to do it fast but it cut it out but if i would have had this drill bit it would have went in the drill right. and it took me two seconds and i could have put the helicoil in there and been done with it because you know we was doing all those um 
six fours and six O's, and there was a lot of them that had the strip valve covers. Yeah. You know, the bolts on those forwards. On the passenger side, it's a freaking nightmare to get back there and, and you know, yeah. to, to helicoil them. We actually took a Dremel and cut a regular drill bit off Yeah. to, to make it work in there, but it did it. So, yeah, and it the, would have been nice to have some shorter ones like that, yeah, know, especially for that job. Well, these right here, they're going to come in many uses, but I think the main one's going to be them tight areas. I don't, if I, if I bought them, I'd use them for any situation. The mm -hmm. only downfall is going to come to where if the hole needs to be longer than this right here, because yep. you're, you're actually going to only be able to use from there up. Mm -hmm. uh, and but then, most of the time, you're not drilling through nothing very thick, so I, I think. If I was only going to buy one set, I'd rather have them a little shorter as I had longer. Well, and that's personally. the thing. If I was yeah. only going to buy one set, I was just going to buy some drill bits. I was only going to buy one set. I'd definitely be trying to get these here. Mm -hmm. Now, if I, I needed them today and the tool dealer only had these in stock, well, yeah. I'd be buying what I could. <laughs> but, <it. laughs> uh, I know I ordered several sets of these, and they all come in last week or the early Friday. Friday. Um, I, I would definitely be looking at these. Just the fact that they're cobalt and then they're stubby on top of that, that would be great. So, um, Plus you're still gonna have a lifetime warranty on anything above a quarter. So yeah. that, that warranty is worth gold to me when it comes to a drill bit, just because uh, if it breaks off, which I have a strange feeling that when it stops cutting it, it's gonna break. Mm. If it's above a quarter and I'm gonna get a new drill bit. So I'm not gonna be worrying about sharpening it at all. Right. That's true. Which you can't sharpen it, but but we've been showing uh, these off all week. We've been showing off the tracks. This, of course, that's something that we're selling. That's not something that that Maco is the offering. We just had a chance to sell a few of them, but mainly the pry bars, the drill bits, mm -hmm. stuff to get you out of sticky situations is what we. And it looks like Mama Matco has found another really cool Matco hat. Or did you pick these out? No. Nope. We'll give credit to the wrong person, but. I don't do hats, shirts, or anything else. I let her do all well, that. You, you, that's exactly the way you need to keep it, because she's got the cool stuff on here. I, I usually handle the tool situations, and she does the uh, uh, hats, shirts, all that good stuff. Um, she picks the cool stuff, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know. I know when I'm beat, so I just let her do that. I see it. I see it. So we also been showing a lot of the uh, air hammer kits. Everybody really likes the air hammer kits, which are right there beside you. But yeah, um, I noticed that one up there on the front. The, yeah, the um, orange. It really looks good. I ordered uh, ten of them at Expo, and I got them in shortly after I got are back. Are these 401 shanks? Or are they the bigger? Uh, you got me. I hadn't even looked. But, yeah, they're going to be the smaller ones. I can tell by looking at the shanks. Yeah. I ordered 10 sets at Expo, got them in shortly after, and they all sold out, so I ordered more. Cool. Uh, and I'm down to the, what you see here, so. Well, if they're selling, that's a good thing, especially when you're in the business to sell tools. So That's, that's right. Well, Michael, it was a good video today. Thank you very much. Like always, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check out our merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes around here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.